This is Tess. She's nearly three years old. She's been with us for just over a year. She originally came into Border Collie Rescue for nipping grandchildren. Obviously unforgivable. We think that she's possibly not a pure collie, maybe a Border Collie crossed with the Kelpie. Often that can mean that there's a lot of herding instinct in there, but seemingly with her, when she did her first sheepdog assessment, we found that she really wasn't that keen. We went through other assessments uh, with the ball to do scent discrimination, and she did show quite a lot of keenness and wondered if maybe a sniffer dog for the police or search and rescue would have been good. She was never really that steady, and we realised that from being very young, the vets were originally concerned in her previous home that she hadn't had a season from uh, very young. And uh, it was quite clear that her behaviour was affected by um, her hormone fluctuation. So because of that, it was best that we waited until she'd had her first season and we could get her spayed. And since then, she has really calmed down quite a lot. Certainly at first, she, um, although was well loved and had been kept very nicely and not neglected in any way, she didn't really have any basic obedience. And because of this, we've had to really start from the beginning. Having seen the sheep and she showed that she wasn't that interested, we tried to gain more control and uh, work around the sheep so that maybe there could have been some kind of career where that became quite controllable. She's always been rather easily stimulated. In fact, she's coined the phrase, the name, two-stroke Tess. Um, two-stroke because she was really keen on chasing anything with the sound of a motor in it, and two-stroke because any more than two strokes, it would fizz her up really high and she would start leaping about six foot high. So names like two-stroke Tess and the incredible leaping dog spring to mind very quickly. We've now covered quite a lot of obedience training and we've also covered all areas of socialising. And in many ways, she's settled down a lot and we're hoping that we've found something that really, really makes her very pleased, and that is to go running. She's got massive drive and uh, the drive would have been no problem if she'd been um, a working dog, but certainly just to be kept as a pet, she would need to be doing something where that was focused. So we've come across a few applications that um, people have uh, done marathon running, something where she can be well exercised but well focused, as well as maybe doing a little bit of obedience on the side. We've also tried to see how good her nose was and she's actually very good at tracking. And it's really a bit of a distraction to her, her nose, uh, when she's supposed to be concentrating on other things. So maybe the home that's coming up at the moment is um, a couple with no children, don't have any visiting children, uh, live in the countryside, would like to exercise around lots of locations that have sheep because they also do marathon running and go jogging, maybe a bit of canny cross. She's going to be viewed uh, in a few days time and hopefully all will be well, so we have yet to see.